My name is Claire Shiwat Prisha. I am a Welcome International Intermediate Fellow based at the Mahedon Offutt Tropical Research Unit in Bangkok, Thailand. So I lead a team to investigate the genetics basis of a bacterial infections called myeloidosis. So um, my research has been collecting and profiling the genetics of the bacteria that cause myeloidosis, the bacteria that uh, can be collected from patients' environmental exposures, as well as the genetics of the patients themselves. So we're creating the database uh, to try to investigate the genetics factors in both the host and the bacteria that influence the disease acquisitions as well as the disease outcome. So one of the research highlight from uh, our recently collected data sets is being that we could identify the bacterial genes or alleles that are more prevalent in disease causing isolates compared to environmental isolates. And one of the top hits are genes that the bacteria use as the needles to puncture and get into the host cells. And coincidentally, this gene, SCP1, has been already picked as a vaccine's candidate. So these examples highlight how genetic studies can support the vaccine's design. And the vaccine's community seems to be quite pleased with the result. So the big questions in the field right now is how we can speed up the disease diagnosis. Currently, the gold standard to diagnose melioidosis is the culture-confirmed approach. And this typically takes three to four days for the culture-confirmed result to arrive. However, within that waiting window, about 20% of patients died before they know that they've got melioidosis. And for the patients who know they've got melioidosis, another 20% died within a month after admission. So this call for um, a demand to develop a rapid diagnostic test. So we team up with the local researchers to develop the triplicast based diagnostic. And this is based on the detections of nucleic acids of the bacteria. And using the genetics data that we've been collecting, we can identify the conserved regions as a target in the bacteria that are unique to the species that causes myeloidosis but cannot be identified in other species as well as the human host. And uh, our CRIPUS assays reduced the diagnostic time from three to four days to less than three hours. And currently, it has the highest sensitivities of any rapid test of up to 93% as compared to 66% of the culture approach. And, and we, we hope that it can be a game changer. We strongly believe that with rapid diagnostic, we can identify patients faster, we can treat them with correct antibiotics faster, and we hope that that will help save more life from myeloidosis. I think a direct impact to save life worth a lot of funding. But the other message I would like to uh, deliver is that any technologies developed in resource-limited setting has its own advantages. It's not easy to develop something in, in resource-constrained setting, but when we operate in this area that force creativity, and we have to decide our equipment to be very light, I strongly believe that any essay is up and running in such setting can be operated in anywhere in this world. And that's why we think it's worth funding. I think we are very fortunate to be able to work in our current setting, even though it's resource limited, but we connect to patients. We learn uh, how they suffer from myeloidosis. We learn the impact the disease had on their life and we have received so many blessings from patients and relatives for the success of our research and hopefully that's helped improve the life.